Well, Hat Queen's a rather quirky figure. Huh? <laughs> the others are all, well, one might say good, solid Buddhists of one kind or another, but Hat Queen's a bit quirky. He's quite eccentric, as far as I remember from what I've, I've read. And he was also, of course, a poet and an artist. And I think, I think that's probably what led me to include him on the refuge tree, uh, quite apart from the fact that he is a very important figure in the history of Zen, especially Rinzai Zen in, uh, in Japan. As uh, for Shinran, what struck me about him maybe was, yes, certain things about his life, but one of his utterances, on one occasion he said that he was neither monk nor layman. So that saying really resonated with me and it helps to show that our idea in the Western Buddhist order that we are an order which is neither monastic nor lay does have at least a few antecedents in Buddhist history. <laughs>